Good afternoon. My name is uh, Rafał Wajda and I represent uh, Stats of Poland company, uh, organizer of uh, today's webinar. Uh, right here with me is uh, Dr. Marek Skowronek, uh, head of uh, the department in our company who is, that is responsible for uh, solutions dedicated for uh, the pharma industry. Uh, today's webinar uh, will be about analytical metal validation and uh, new uh, ICH guideline. Uh, at the beginning, uh, I'll shortly tell you about uh, our company, especially in case of uh, our solutions for um, uh, for the pharma industry. Uh, and uh, after me, uh, Dr. Skowronek will tell you about the main topic of uh, today's webinar. Uh, if, you, if you have any questions, do not hes hesitate to ask them and uh, just uh, write them uh, on uh, chat. And at the end, we'll do our best to answer all your questions. Okay, so uh, let's start with uh, the introduction. Um, our company, Stetsoft, uh, is uh, in the data analytics business, if I can say in this way. Uh, we general, in general, we help uh, companies to uh, transform the data they uh, gather into uh, the into some usable knowledge uh, and help them to achieve the goals uh, they'd like to uh, meet. Uh, we have both uh, solutions, software that helps you uh, do all the analytics as well as as well as all the necessary uh, services that can be needed. Uh, we have more than 25 years of experience. At the moment, uh, we are in the International Around IT Group and with uh, our colleagues uh, from uh, Stats of Europe, we are close, closely cooperating to provide um, uh, as best uh, service to companies in many countries and no matter how you call uh, data analytics, SPC, statistical data analysis, uh, machine learning, big data, etc. Uh, it doesn't really matter for us because we can uh, we can do it, we can help you with um, such uh, such topics. Uh, we uh, have experience in uh, uh, many different uh, industries. However, for many years, pharma has been uh, our priority and there are many companies that uh, have been supported by us uh, and there are many international companies as well as uh, smaller uh, operating uh, rather locally. In general uh, we can say that we can help uh, to De develop uh, data analysis and reporting system uh, to collect your data uh, to help uh, integrate it. Uh, we can also help with standard statistical analysis uh, tools such as uh, uh, Statistica uh, as well as provide you services. And by services uh, I can say uh, about uh, help you with analy analysis of your data, uh, can, uh, somehow advise you on how to uh, treat your data, how to analyze it. Uh, and we also provide many training services so that if you want to do the data analytics yourselves, we can help you, uh, we can teach you how to do it. Uh, we have, as I already mentioned, um, many uh, solutions for pharma. Mm, uh, we have uh, dedicated tools for many areas. Uh, the most important uh, are product quality monitoring, process validation, environmental monitoring, uh, dissolution profiles comparison, proficiency testing, measurement uncertainty, analytical method validation, so today's topic, and uh, product uh, stability evaluation. Uh, these modules uh, are based on the statistical analytical uh, data uh, analysis engine. All these modules have been prepared in, the, in that way that uh, they comply with uh, various uh, good practices uh, depending on your needs. Uh, these modules can be used in laboratory, laboratory or 
in the production departments. Uh, these modules can be extended with a dedicated database, uh, thanks to which uh, uh, the data uh, are already uh, ready to uh, run analysis, generate reports. We can also provide more complex, more advanced data uh, analysis system. In this case, the heart of such a system is a database, central database, uh, and it includes any data uh, that uh, may be needed uh, for the data analytics. Uh, here you can configure the system, uh, uh, manage uh, users, their access rights the, to, for example, various data sets. Uh, you can configure it this way that uh, data is uh, retrieved uh, from automatically from uh, various devices or entered manually. Uh, at the, let's say, end, uh, you get all the data analytics, the reports uh, that are needed. They can be even be generated automatically uh, according to a, a set schedule and, uh, for example, sent via email when ready. A good example of such a complex uh, system is our product lifecycle system. Uh, it is a database system that uh, includes modules uh, important at each stage of the uh, product uh, lifecycle. Here you can see, um, in short, the four main modules of uh, this uh, PLCS uh, system. Uh, first, you do the criticality and risk assessment and move on uh, to design of experiments uh, uh, according to uh, QBD. Mm, then you can do the process validation at the end. You just monitor, uh, verify the processes that are uh, going um, on production. Uh, each of these uh, modules uh, is integrated with, uh, with with another, so the results uh, from one module you can use uh, uh, in the next one. However, they can also be used um, independently in case uh, only, for example, the company needs one of these modules. Uh, thank you for your attention. And now uh, I would like to uh, give the screen to Dr. Skowronek. Good afternoon. So let's move to the second part of the uh, webinar, validation of analytical methods. In 2023, the ICH guideline on validation of analytical procedure was approved with legal effective date scheduled in June 2024. In today's webinar, I will discuss statistical methods that can be used in the evaluation of accuracy and precision. Whereas the second webinar scheduled in June will be dedicated to validation of calibration model and lower range limit estimation. As per ICH recommendations, the objective of validation of analytical procedure is to demonstrate that the analytical procedure is fit for the intended purpose. These objectives are described with a suitable set of performance characteristics and related performance criteria which can vary depending on the intended purpose of the analytical procedure and the specific technology selected. In the case of separate accuracy and precision studies, the objective of validation may be defined in the following form. The procedure must be able to quantify the analyte in the range from A to B with a precision less than predetermined limit, and with accuracy within the predetermined mean range of the reportable value. In case of combined accuracy and precision study, the objective of validation may be defined as follows. The procedure must be able to quantify the analyte in the range from A to B, so that the distribution of the total analytic error of the reportable value falls within the total allowable analytical error range. 
The measurement process usually involves several steps, beginning with taking a primary sample of the finished product, followed by the preparation of the analytical sample, test portion, test solution, and ending with the determination of the reportable value. The reportable value is therefore a final step in the measurement process, resulting from one complete execution of the analytical procedure for a laboratory sample. It is then used in the compliance testing of the drug product.